episode 16. Scott, thanks for stopping by here again. Thanks for having me. Very exciting. We have Shane Crawford on Skype. Shane Crawford, how are you? Are you there, mate? Shane, can you hear us? Hello, Dean. How are you? Oh, how are you, Charlie, mate? How's the body at the moment? Uh, I'm with Frank and he's he's been my coach and he's very, very good. He even got out on the bike himself for about 15 minutes and then he decided to pull a calf on riding up a hill, a which is a oh, cramp. He had a cramp, sorry, which I've never heard of. But anyway, he did a pretty good job for 15 minutes and that's all I've seen of him on the bike. And he's done a very good job with all the, the Facebook uh, videos and he's been uh, working very, very hard, Frank. A great experience for him. Heading out into the bush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crawford, don't worry about um, don't worry about Frankie. But the magnificent thing that you're doing for the Breast Cancer Network of Australia, um, you've only got one more day to go. Is that right? So about 200 kilometres. Two more days. Two more days. Right. Not okay. Not you, Dean. No, I've got two more days. So uh, another big day tomorrow, about 160 k's, and then a lighter day on the last day, about 100 k's. But the weather's about to turn, apparently. But you know what? We just deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> and Crawf, how are you feeling? How's the body? Are you going to be ready for a long bath of Epsom salts when you hit Perth? Uh, well, I've got my coach <laughs> who, uh, who massages me. He mentally sort of supports me. Uh, he doesn't support me much on the bike, but uh, he's always there for me. So I'm pretty sure we can get there. No, very nice work, Crawford. We will let you go because you've got to go have your massage there. Your coach is there also. He's going to take you through your routine. What did you say? No, we don't care about you. We've got Shane Crawford, so we don't care about Frankie Bench. Anyway, I think the link's about to drop out now. Exactly. Just before Crawford could cut him off by saying that's what I'm talking about. Now, I'm in a Collingwood jumper too, Dawes. I know because uh, you barrack for Carlton. I, I barrack for Collingwood. And yeah. we were asking people to send us bets. We had a, a number of people on Twitter say the loser should wear the, uh, the winner's uh, jumper. Yeah. And that's exactly what's yeah, going on. Matt, don't worry, we don't want you back. <laughs> They're trying to call us again, Dawes. <laughs> Go away, Frankie. But here's the tweet also on a serious note. Um, Harry O'Brien's a good friend of yours. He is. And here's the tweet. He, he actually stayed with you on Sunday yeah. or across the weekend. Over the weekend, yeah. We, uh, we had him hiding out at our place <laughs> for a little bit um, before coming down to the club. And, you know, it's obviously been pretty wide reported, widely reported what's going on with Harry. So, yeah, we had him over. No, he's a great man, Harry O'Brien. So I think people should just leave him alone, let him get through what he's got to get through at the moment. And um, good luck to him if you speak to him from here at Gem Y Footy. Absolutely. I'll pass that on. Now, uh, what about Carlton? Wheels that, falling off? That, or what? Don't worry hey, about it. I'm talking about it get to the guest. Let's get right. to Nick Del Sano from the St Kilda Footy Club. <laughs> Great to be back, Dino. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Saints are going alright. Five goal loss on the weekend, but your personal form has been alright of late. Here's some highlights here of you on the weekend. Yeah, a little bit better. Um, still not exactly where I'd like to be personally and we'd like to win a few more games. But it was nice to go to Perth on the weekend and take a young squad and be competitive for about three quarters. It was a good learning experience and hopefully something we can build on. You kicked a nice goal too that we just I saw. I did, I kicked a nice goal. I took a little grab as well, Dino. Did little you really? Sticky. Little grab. <laughs> you split <laughs> hands out. And we didn't have it. No, you didn't have it, but I'm happy to tell you about it. So I uh, <laughs> let out of the goal square and no, I, just, I actually just got off the ground. That was about as good as I could do and just took a mark and finished off. It would have been very courageous like Nick Rewald at the SCG a few years ago. It was similar, um, except there was nobody there and I was running forwards. <laughs> but apart from that, exactly the same as Rui's. And when you got home, was there a new Hilux in the driveway <laughs> just waiting for I you? I expected it. <laughs> come back home and I thought, this isn't right. I thought, I must be in the top three and they're going to decide later <laughs> in the year. But we'll wait to see what happens, Dules. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the, the Twitter war that goes between you and Jeremy Howe. Come to the grand final. I'll lose that. I'll lose that. <laughs> <laughs> now, just on a serious note, I just want to touch on a couple of things because you are a player yes. and you, you don't go to the tribunal very often because you're a bit of a nerd and yeah. you stick to it. Have you're you not been a nerd, to the tribunal? I can't imagine you doing anything. I got reported in about 04, 05 and I was one of the first guys to bump the umpire when that was sort of just the new rule. Oh, so it was an accident. It was, <laughs> a, it was an accident. I think it cost me about 3000 after tax and I was shattered as a younger kid. I'd still be shattered now, but... Yeah. Now you just get warnings and stuff like that. I've been cited a couple of times, but it's okay. just not my style. Well, Sean McKernan, he's a young kid also. Now, mm. have a look at this incident on the weekend. Clearly, he, had, he only wanted to do one thing, and that was take Shepard's head off. He got two weeks at the tribunal. Yeah. And then you, on the flip side, you go over to uh, Pat McGinnity. Yeah. And he uh, gets three weeks for his sling tackle on Bernie Vince. Now, surely the system is flawed and something's going on there. Yeah, you don't see those... Uh, was it McKernan, the first one? You yeah. don't see many of those sort of elbows anymore. I think he actually did get three and got reduced to two with a good good behaviour, um, previous good behaviour. 
It's um, I can't say too much because I don't want to get myself in trouble, but it is. Well, I'm going to say it for you. say it for me. What the I'm system's thinking. flawed. If, if, that is, if that is how it goes, it's where, it's a, where it's a point system, the system's flawed, and the AFL should have the option to appeal those decisions and say this is not a good look. For an organisation uh, that's so hot on you know, bringing the game into disrepute and, and things like that, that's not a good look. No, it's not. I'm Scott Dooley. <laughs> and for kids, yeah, it does kick all around the country looking at that. It's all right. You can just use your elbow and get two weeks. That's fine, is it? You don't say that very often. I mean, it's, it's not great. Yeah. And to still get two it's weeks. It's very rare. Yeah, yeah, it is rare. And you still get two weeks. So it's not like you got away with it. Yeah. Could okay. I also take this opportunity? I actually played a game of football <laughs> on Saturday. I accidentally elbowed a guy. <laughs> and he had to go to hospital for stitches. <laughs> I deserve three weeks. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you've got a good record because you never played. Clean it, record. So. Never played. Two weeks, mate. Yeah. You're fine. We'll but I pushed you. an umpire we on Nick's uh, advice. <laughs> and I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Lenny Hayes. He's yes. been the hot topic lately. Is he going to play on... Scott Waters wants this to play on. Is he going to play on next year, do you think? Give us something. I can honestly say... Because you I, won't get in trouble for this. No, I can honestly you? say I don't know and I'll be okay. completely honest with you. I think he has every right to request another year. I think he's obviously been disappointed this year because of his injuries. Yeah. But I think you saw on the weekend, his first game back, ran out the game, had 26-odd touches. He's a fantastic player. So I think he has the right to, um, to go on if he wants. But I think it's purely his decision. And okay. I, I honestly don't know. How but is his body? Like, is Beautiful. he training? <laughs> no, he, I know he's a good looking man. <laughs> but is he, is he training regularly with the group? He or are they been. just cotton wool? No, no, play? he had been. Um, he'd done all the training. He obviously had the heart surgery last year, which interrupted his pre-season. Then he... <laughs> it's amazing that we say heart surgery. Yeah, like oh, I didn't get a full pre-season. Yeah, just, just because Lenny. I had heart surgery. Yeah, <laughs> just came back. Um, and then played a couple of games, got injured, and then just had repeat injuries post that, which obviously affects his fitness and all those yeah. other things. But then he has been training individually then the last probably three weeks with the team. If you had yeah. to give us a percentage, so would it, would it be 60-40, 70-30? <sighs> yeah. Give me 60-40. 60-40 to play on? That he plays. That's not bad, is it? Though? I, That's like a bit of a I like that. That's a bombshell. That is a bombshell. <laughs> That's it. It's in the bombshell. Look for that in the Herald Sun. <laughs> <laughs> now, Duels, yes. you've got a bit of an exclusive for Gemma. Well, there's another someone else who's come into the firing line in the AFL. There has been someone that's been in the firing line in the AFL. That no one knows about. Absolutely no one knows about this. Chris Scott will not be coaching the Geelong Football Club this week. How many week. weeks? I'm going to give him one week with a warning because of good behaviour. Have a look at this. There's been a decision here. And he's look, he looks up at the screen, sees it is on camera, and look, there it is, the bird. There's the bird Chris Reprimand. Scott. <laughs> oh, no, I'd find him. I'd find, find him and give him a week. No coaching for a week. <laughs> it's now time for Twitter Hard Hitter. Uh, at Dell, be honest, mate. I know they would uh, they give you a hard time on the show, but if the Hawks offered you two years, 500k a year, <laughs> would you take it and win a flag? Hashtag money talks, hashtag premierships. I don't know how this worked its way into the show, but <laughs> what do you reckon, Dell? Everywhere I go, I get asked these stupid questions, Dell. Last time I was here, I was dressed up in calves and clothes and everything. Um, no. Okay. No, <laughs> Same, it, was, it was a month since I was here last, and the question yeah. was, would I leave St Kilda? I don't want to leave St Kilda. No, that's okay. the bottom line. All I right. love the club. I love the boys. I've stated that a few times, and as I said to you last time, I don't want to go to another club and take a pay cut as well. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can get out of bed for that. Now, it is time for Gen Y Player of the Week. Scott? <laughs> the Player of the Week. Sounds like you sound like the Player of the Week. You're going to come here in a gold car. Uh, the Player of the Week, uh, Josh Kennedy from West Coast. Have a look at this goal that he kicks. Under pressure, no stutter, and on the left. Yep. It could be the it could be the revolution yeah. in his game. Do you reckon that should be his run up from now on? Absolutely. Just roll onto the left peg and just nail one from forty five. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he's working on it now. Uh, this is serious. He's working on it to get the stutter out of his out of it for come finals time they make it. But why? That's fact. I, the, I don't know. The, if it's the most deadly kick in the league. Who cares? Well, sure. if it's work, go for it. I agree. You're not getting blundstones. You're not getting eyewear because we've already given you four pairs this year. Done. Scott, thanks for the last three weeks. My pleasure. Weeks, mate. It's been, been fun. Awesome. Thank you. We'll see you next week on Gem Life Footy.